Hey everybody, today we're talking about the smallest possible C program and why it matters, why you should care about it. This video was inspired by Ryan, who sent me the following question. Remember, I did a video a while back about how processes use BRK and MMAP to get more memory, but he noticed that when he runs a program, hello world in this case, through strace, topic of another video, it doesn't match up to the output he's getting from PMAP, and he's trying to understand why. So let's break this down together. There are a few things in here that I think are worth talking about. First thing, PMAP. I haven't talked about it, but it's cool. PMAP shows you the memory map of a process, meaning that it shows you what memory addresses a process can access without segfaulting. So basically, the parts of your memory space that you can actually access legally. If you're on a Mac, you'll use VM map instead of PMAP, slightly different, but it gives you the same basic functionality. And I've talked in the past about trying to figure out how much memory a process is using, well, PMAP would be another way to do it. The second interesting thing here is that Ryan is using Hello World. Well, Hello World with a loop at the end. Why? Because he wants something simple. He's trying to avoid introducing a lot of noise and overcomplicating the question. So he goes with something simple like Hello World, but it could be simpler and we're gonna get into that in a second. Also, the loop in the end is there so, so it doesn't quit. And that's important for this experiment because for PMAP to work its magic, our process needs to keep running. Otherwise, we're just gonna miss it. So we're taking hello world and running it through strace. strace spits out every system call that the program calls, and you'll notice that it prints out a lot of them. And the question is, is why doesn't the output from strace? You can see some mmap and brk calls here, which are requests for memory. If I collect all those mmap and brk calls from strace and compare them to the output I get from pmap or vmmap, it doesn't match. There's a bunch more memory mapped in there, and we have no record of the program ever requesting that memory. So what's going on? Maybe strace is broken. Maybe processes have some other way of getting memory. And maybe there's something strange going on in libc that we're not seeing, because look at all this output for Hello World. This is supposed to be our simplest test program, but there's still a lot going on here. And that's making it a little difficult to see what's really happening. So in times like these, we really do want to find the smallest, simplest C program we can find, and by smallest, I mean the program that does the least. It just runs, but doesn't do anything else. Doesn't make any function calls, no system calls, no libraries loaded, nothing. And that will help us tease apart what the program is doing and what the operating system is doing. Now, when we think of simplest, we often think of Hello World because it's the first one we learn and it doesn't really do much, but we can get smaller by leaving out the C standard library. Now, I think I may have done this in a previous video. I can't remember, but let me show you how it's done. Our simplest program is going to look something like this. Notice that it doesn't have a main function. That's because main is something that libc calls. But if we leave out libc, then we're not going to have main. We're going to start our program at start. And of course, because the default is to include libc, we need to compile this a little bit differently. On Linux, we just include the no standard lib option, and that compiles it without including the C standard library. And if we look at the two generated executables, we can clearly see that this one is smaller meaning the binary itself is smaller. Now, at some point, I know one of you is out there saying, ooh, ooh, I can make it smaller. And of course, be my guest. Please let me know down in the comments if you have a smaller alternative. But for now, this is as small as I'm going to go. And if we run hello from strace, you can see that there are a lot of system calls made at the beginning. When we run our littlest program through strace, notice now you only see one system call, and that is the system call that was used to run the program. That's exec VE. But now let's go back to our original question about strace and pmap. For this, we're running hello world, and let's use ps to get the process ID. So I can run pmap. And if I can type it correctly, seriously, Okay, now pmap runs, and we can see its memory map. And now if we do the same thing with littlest, you can see that our memory map is considerably smaller. Okay, so what did we learn? What is the answer to Ryan's question? Well, libc is allocating a bunch of memory, but those calls actually match up with the strace log. And by removing all of libc and using a program that we know isn't doing anything, we can see that little processes come into existence with some memory already mapped. This memory is set up when we load the new program. It's not being picked up by strace because the process isn't requesting the memory. 
And at this point, we could dig into the source code for the exec VE system call and see how where this memory is being set up, but that's gonna have to be an exploration for another day. So tuck the smallest program away into your bag of tricks for the next time you need a really tiny do nothing program. As always, the source code is available for this video and other videos through Patreon. There's a link in the description. A big thanks to all of you that help support this channel. Check out my other videos like these that get under the hood and help you better understand how your computer works. Subscribe to the channel and click the bell for notifications if you don't wanna miss the next one and I'll see you then.